and gentlemen, Daniel Schneider, Executive Director of the American Conservative Union. Thank you so much. How's the conference going? Um, I have the opportunity here to present the Blogger of the Year Award. The Blogger of the Year is somebody who consistently has an impact for conservatism. We've had past winners who have, who have really earned their stripes, like Matt Lewis and Katie Pavlik. This year, we're happy to present the award to Mary Catherine Hamm from Hot Air. Mary Catherine frequently speaks on um, the O'Reilly Factor, and she even took on the ladies from The View recently. Uh, as a native of Alabama, she moved to North Carolina, and she learned the, the value of hard work, elbow grease, and the value of money. With Southern charm and determination, she's gone on to tackle the world of journalism and politics, and she makes the, the, the case for conservatism every day. I'm pleased to to honor Mary Catherine, who will be joining us briefly because this is a surprise to her. This, this award is given um, as a surprise to people every year. So I think Mary Catherine is still working her way you know, from the back through the, to, uh, to the back of the stage and should be joining us momentarily. There she is. Ladies and gentlemen, your blogger of the year, Mary Catherine. Hi. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you very much. This is uh, truly a surprise. And um, I thought about tripping on the way up here so you would all think I was charming like Jennifer Lawrence. Uh, I don't know if it would work for me. Uh, I feel truly unworthy of this award, and I really appreciate uh, being recognized for anything I do professionally, especially in a year where I've been focused on a non-professional project more than anything. Her name is Georgia, and she's seven months old. <laughs> so in a year where uh, that has been my main vocation, uh, I truly appreciate being recognized for the stuff that I've been able to do um, when not hanging out with her. And, uh, and it's a recognition uh, by you folks of how important what I'm doing in my extracurricular time is right now. Uh, I became a blogger after being a newspaper journalist for a couple of years, and no offense to newspaper journalists in the audience, who I treasure as well, it was a good time to leave the industry, it turned out. Uh, I went to the Heritage Foundation, was able to start, I believe, the first blog for the Heritage Foundation in I just thought it was something that was interesting and new that was happening and a way for people to communicate in ways that they hadn't before that gave power to new people. Uh, and through blogging, I've been able to do a thousand other things, including argue with Bill O'Reilly once a week on TV, sometimes about the value of blogs on the internet, which I did just recently. And I try to impress upon him and everyone I meet uh, that more voices is better. And uh, that that's what blogging gives us and I don't want to ever go back to the days when there were three networks and a handful of newspapers. Uh, because we're smart enough. Yes, yes, that's true for that. <laughs> we are smart enough to sort through it. Americans are smart enough to figure out the truth and uh, to have people's biases put on the table and understand them and evaluate accordingly. And I think that's powerful. I would like to also say thanks a million times to all of my hotair.com colleagues, Ed Morrissey, Erica Johnson, uh, Ala Pundit, nobody can forget, even if they've never met him, and <laughs> they work tirelessly, uh, sometimes filling in the gaps when I am taking care of said tiny project at home. Um, thank you very much. You guys have an awesome time. Listen to all the voices available to you here, uh, and also listen to the ones that you don't agree with because that's what this new media world gives us. It's a gift, and uh, it's exciting to be a part of it. So thank you very much, and thank you to everybody who blogs and who created this awesome world that allows me to stand on the stage and talk to you guys. 
Thank you.